Hi, this is Luke Zip from Crocker Farm Auction, and I'm here with a really fun, important, extremely well done example of 19th century American stoneware. As you can see, there's a, uh, a man's figure applied to the front, and, but it's so much cooler than uh, a lot of late 19th century American stoneware you see with uh, figural applications. This is all done by hand. There's not, uh, nothing molded in it. If you could see the inside, which I'm not even going to attempt to have that filmed, uh, what happened was the potter, who was uh, Wallace or Cornwall Kirkpatrick of Anna Pottery in Anna, Illinois, who are known for making the most creative, finely done examples of uh, American stoneware really uh, in existence. It, it, they just were so innovative with uh, the stoneware art form, they took it to really uh, high extremes. They're known for a lot of uh, pig bottles, figural pig bottles, snake jugs. They're some of their most beloved examples. Here's a picture, and the figural pictures by Anna Pottery are extremely rare. There's just a small handful known, and here is one um, that says, here's to Paps Heath, and has this really fun figure uh, on the front. Now the potter, what they did was they pushed out the clay from the interior to uh, create a, uh, a surface to then carve details from. So most of the, the details are actually the hand-thrown body of the pitcher that are then carved by the potter. Then they apply things like the brim of the hat, the little goatee, the feet, uh, and the shoes. But then and they carved really cool features, so it's almost like a, a Victorian folk sculpture here. So you have uh, his pocket watch, for instance, buttons on his coat, like I said, the little coat tee, the chubby face, the distinctive cap, his hand in his pocket, his boots, his coat. And you can see that uh, he's clearly an occupational figure. He's wearing the uniform of a, a railroad conductor. So doing research into this name Heath, we found a Marvin M. Heath who lived in Panna, Illinois, very uh, close to, I think it was about 40 miles, maybe even less, north of Anna, Illinois, who was a railroad conductor and uh, clearly rode the route. Uh, there uh, was a train service that ran straight south from Panna to Anna. Panna was a hub for uh, railroad activity. That is where Marvin Heath lived. But he was a very beloved uh, figure. In 1871, which was uh, 13 years before this picture was made, in uh, one of the newspapers, uh, the Daily Illinois State Journal of Springfield, Illinois, they talked about Marvin Heath. M.M. Heath of the SI and SE Railroad is the prince of good fellows. He numbers his friends along the line by hundreds and is truly worth their friendship and esteem. So obviously, uh, he was a very congenial fella. He would, uh, you can just picture this kind of jolly, portly man riding the rails every day, making friends at every stop, and I'm sure he uh, made friends with the Kirkpatricks or maybe one of their patrons. And so then this picture was made as a gift to him. Here's to Paps, that was probably a nickname of Marvin, Paps Heath. I'm sure he enjoyed it and uh, filled it with a lot of delicious beverages. But it's, a, it's going to be in our October 25th auction. We're excited to handle it.